everybody. Sorry about that. Welcome back. This is going to be part four of the Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 playthrough. Uh, I'm actually really, really excited to continue this. Uh, I guess I'll give a little spoiler. Spoiler is this should be released around Christmas time. I'm recording this September 1st. <laughs> Uh, and it's still super damn hot here in Texas, but lately I have been just on a binge of watching a lot of videos about uh, the history of All Japan Pro Wrestling and Pro Wrestling Noah. Uh, so I'm actually just, I'm even more excited to continue to play through now because I'm a little more familiar with uh, some of the superstars and the, the wrestlers uh, from All Japan. So we're gonna continue. Uh, we are playing as Vader, and Stan Hansen is our tag team partner. And we have a tag team match to start, it looks like. I think this is, yep, we'll skip, skip. And here we go. Not a title match. Back in, looks like Corkin. Ooh, Kamala 2, and I'm not sure who that is, so hopefully we find out during the introductions. I believe we've won a two sets of tag titles so far. We know we got Vader and Stan Hansen here. So yeah, I have been watching a lot of stuff, like I said, about uh, all, especially a lot of the All Japan Pro history uh, from, you know, the, the four pillars uh, of heaven to uh, the Exodus, uh, what was it, 2000 was the exodus of, of All Japan uh, led by Misawa forming uh, Pro Wrestling Noah. So it's just, it's, it's been really cool to uh, to see a lot of it and then to learn the history of it and going back and watching, you know, a lot of these, uh, what were given, you know, five star uh, ratings by Dave Meltzer, and you, and you see why the matches are absolutely insane. Uh, with the likes of like Masawa and Kawada and uh, Akiyama and Jumbo Saruta. You know, then you had a lot of the, the Gaijin, you know, Vader, Stan Hansen, uh, Terry Gordy. Uh, Johnny Ace, uh, Mike Barton, uh, Gary Albright. So, pretty, pretty awesome uh, just trip through uh, through history. Uh, when you know all Japan was basically. Um, was uh, was what uh, you know, New Japan is now, just the dominant wrestling promotion in Japan. And we're, gonna, we're gonna go for the for his uh, old like super special, which is a jackhammer. Uh, Hansen ain't gonna get there in time. I think we're gonna have a rope break anyway. Oh, we, yeah, we do. Oh, 
uh, Fujiwara. Oh, out yeah, goes Kamala. The Ugandan giant. Oh, never Fujiwara. Gotta remember what his moves are. There we go, big slam coming up. Oh, it's double team, double team. There we go, double suplex. That'll do it. Oh, that would've been cool to finish it that way. Let's give him the big Vader power bomb here, and Hanson's gonna hopefully Mr. Kamala can't stop it. No, he's not. Oh, we just in time. Perfect. Another big win. So yeah, I learned about the the triple crown, uh, three three championships for the heavyweight triple crown. And we have a one-on-one -on -one match. Main event singles match. Curious who, who it is against. Is it against Hanson? We've faced him before. We have faced Dan Hanson before. Non-title, but we've we've faced Dan Hansen one on one before. Interesting. Big clothesline. Are all his B grapples into uh, the combo? Let's see. It is. Boom. Body shot. Oh, I, I wanted to do a three hit, but okay. And big power bomb for you. Hopefully we can't, we don't injure him. Big splash in the corner. So digging, digging the All Japan stuff, digging the Noah stuff. Ended up the other night watching, uh, I think it's still considered their Noah's best show, which was, uh, was it Destiny in 05 at the Tokyo Dome? Or at Tokyo Dome, it's not the Tokyo Dome, it's Tokyo Dome. Uh, pretty damn good show. Uh, Kenta Kanemaru absolutely killing it for the junior title, the GHC junior title. See if we can finish him off with a jackhammer. Got him up. Big jackhammer for you. Pretty simple swash, but I'll take it. We have a tag title match where we are defending the titles in the main event. One of our sets of tag titles, I believe. Still in Corkin. We've been Corkin a lot, I feel, during this playthrough. Is that, that's Jimmy Smith, I think? 
Was name another guy, Jin? Johnny Smith. Johnny Smith. I like that we have both uh, tag titles on us. Go tag title match. Probably not a good idea to taunt right away. Oh, trying to get a double team and not having it. Oh, big splash and a full Nelson slam. Let's go. Fujiwara. Oh, choke slam. There we go. Oh, I was trying to grapple, grapple him. Big splash coming. Boom. But yeah, Vader, Vader, uh, ah, damn it. You know, Vader went from basically jobbing at the end of his uh, WWF tender to, uh, you know, being, you know, the biggest star in all Japan uh, for a, a while uh, in what, early, late 98, early 99. Um, like, and I know he... He wasn't just jobbing, but like, I don't want to say just jobbing, but like, he was, he wasn't winning at all. He wasn't a threat anymore. Um, I know he, big match he had, he had a match on, it was either Sunday Night Heat or Shotgun Saturday Night against Edge. Um, but he also lost, uh, what was it, fully loaded 98 to Mark Henry. in a match where I don't even remember why they were having it. I didn't remember him feuding with the nation, but uh, the last appearance I remember seeing him, and I know he was there later than this, but the last big appearance I remember was a match he had with The Undertaker on Raw. I think when The Undertaker was going, turn, just turning heel, and Shawn Michaels had returned to the company to do commentary. And if I remember right, uh, it was when Kane came out and they like spike tombstoned him, and then Mankind tried to come out and you know cause he was beefing with Taker always. And... But I, I'd say the real nail in Vader's coffin was uh, when he lost the the mask. First mass match against Kane at Over the Edge 98. Uh, big jackhammer. He ain't gonna get the save. Too slow. But when he lost that, and you knew he was gonna lose it, like, like I don't, I don't. Even as a kid, you knew that Vader had no chance against Kane in a uh, in that match at, at Over the Edge. Now let's pin him. Oh, almost. Come on, Hanson. You gotta get the save there.
big front suplex. There we go. But yeah, Vader was a star in Japan again, man. Winning the Triple Crown. Uh, amazing matches with Masawa. But we were already champions, so we just defended them. So maybe we unlocked something. Ooh, I am defending a singles title in the main event here. So Vader will be defending one of... I think we have one single title? We might have two. I don't remember. We're going to find out. Ooh. Is this Masawa? No. It's a Kawada. I believe that's Kawada. Well, I don't think those are all singles titles, but I do. But well, we do have three titles. We tag gold. We got a singles title. Oh, Kenta Kobashi, Kenta Kobashi, my bad. Kenta Kobashi. Triple champion, let's go. We got Kenta Kobashi. Yeah, because Kawada stayed. Was it, it was Kawada who stayed in all Japan when the Noah Exodus happened, I believe. I think it was Kawada who stayed in uh, all Japan. Crab into an STF, yep. Where's that big headbutt we got? No, not that. Big headbutt. Into a power bomb. So that. That big body size you're not the oh countered. Hater time, baby, let's go. Well Nelson. Big spell oh, Vader went for it all. Again, there we go. We got it this time. We're gonna go for the big power bomb and then a jackhammer, hopefully. And big power bomb. Mm 
get in the middle of the ring a little bit, and boom, jackhammer time. And that'll be it for Kabashi. We get a trophy or anything? Like, I know they did that during title matches, yep. Maybe we unlock something else? A couple things? Some create parts? Let's say some create parts. Alright, so we have a tournament. That'll be on our next part, which will be part five. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. And uh, happy holidays and Merry Christmas coming up. And until uh, next time, when we come back, we'll be in a tournament. I think it's a, it looks like a tag team tournament.